Hi there, and welcome to Magician's Advice Recommends. My name's Ian Brennan. Thank you so much for coming and joining us on this video today. And a huge, huge thank you to all the people that have joined our channel recently. We've gone from being a small, tiny little pocket of viewers, uh, loyal fans as we have, people that listen to our podcast and also tune in here on YouTube, to having, I think, over 300 subscribers now by the time this goes out. And I, I am absolutely chuffed to bits. Thank you, thank you so much for all your time. Thank you to all the people that have shared the channel and shared it with their friends and, and helped it grow. Thank you. Today's review is a little book called Evergreen by Steve Cohen. Now, what is this? What's it all about? What are the best bits and the worst bits? And why might you be interested in grabbing this book for yourself? Well, first, what is it? This book is about a journey from uh, not having a parlor show to having a parlor show or a salon show as Steve calls it in here. It's the history behind Steve's show, where he got the ideas from, how he built the show together and how he made it such a success that it is. If you're looking at doing a partner show, this could be for you. What is it not? Well, it's not a list of effects, a list of tricks that Steve does. It's not a list of how to uh, speak to potential clients, potential venues. It's not a how to do it, but it does give you the ideas and the inspiration to go forward. It gives you the motivation to make a successful show. That's the idea behind it. It's a short read. It took me about an hour and a half. You can easily read this in a day, you know, if you take your time reading it. To be honest, you can probably knock it out even quicker than I did. It's a really, really short book. It's laid out really nicely set out in a really nice way. There's lots of pictures that go along and sort of illustrate the point that we've got there. It's brought out by Vanishing Inc. and it's the first in their short essays series. It is a short essay and it's number one. It's quite a rare book. I think there's only 300 produced. So if you're looking at getting one, it might be worth going out and grabbing one sooner rather than later. So two types of magician that this is for. The first, if you are looking to start your own partner show, looking to have your own venue and get that venue on board with you. Um, if you're looking to have your own parlor show in a venue and you want some guidance of how to get it set up and what you're looking out for, what the journey might entail, this book is for you. The other type of magician this is for is the, a collector. It's going to be quite a rare book. I think there was 350 printed in the first print run. So yeah, it's going to be quite a rare book. If you're a collector of magic books, I think it's about £20, £25 maybe. Um, it's worth grabbing as a collection item. There's several in the series. There's going to be 10 all together and you can sit them all nicely in your bookshelf if you're a collector. Let's talk about the best bits. Now the best bits of this book is it is an inspiration. It really is. It makes you think, I can do this. I can get out there and I can um, go and speak to a hotel. I can speak to a venue. I can take my show to the next level. I can get this set up and I can do it. It really is an inspiration. It's realistic. So there's lots of times in there where Steve gives you the cold hard facts of life. He says, this cost me a lot of money. I didn't earn money for the first so many shows, um, it, and if, it, it's very down to earth. So, and it's an easy read. It's really short, really easy to read, and it's really, really r well well written. But then I guess you come to expect that from Vanishing Inc. and from the way that Steve speaks. What's the worst bits about it? I think the worst bits are that it doesn't give you a lot of information about the fine details and things. There's one point in there where Steve says, I get emails from people almost every day saying, we want to do the same sort of show that you have, but in a different town, in the town where I live. Can you give me some help? And he has a generic answer that sort of goes through there. And it makes sense when you read the book, why his answer is what it is. But I can't help thinking it would have been nice to have some of the things that the common questions that people ask answered in the book. Um, it's taken him 18 years to get to where he is. 
I appreciate that that's 18 years worth of someone's life. They, they don't want to just give away for nothing. But maybe it would have been nice to have a slightly longer essay available with some more details in. I think I'd certainly pay twice the price for twice the volume on this and get more information out of Steve. Why does he price the tickets the way they do? I don't know. Um, how did he get to the price and the tickets that he's at? Tips that he's got for moving your market forward? It really is a bit of a bare bones thing. It's very inspirational. It certainly made me think about mine, but it could have done with a bit more info. But then it is only a short essay. I'll, I'll, I'm right on the fence here. To summarize it, I do love the book. I really, really enjoyed it. I sat down with this and I read it the other day and it inspired me amazingly because I, I've had my own little parlor show um, at the start of this year before the virus broke out and everyone went into lockdown. My show was doing quite well and I'm selling out the tickets quite nicely and you know people are coming along to enjoy it. Reading this book, Evergreen, makes me think that if my parlor show was here, we can now take it to a completely higher level. The ideas in there are really easy to implement. Granted, it's going to cost you a bit of money to do because the there's no, no cheap ideas in there. There's no shortcuts. It's going to cost you a bit of money to implement them, but it's going to help you take your parlor show to the next level. And having a venue that I've got, having a space and a show already, I can apply what's in there. It, it, it's just inspired me. I'm so excited for my show coming forward. And it's because of what I've read in that book. So yeah, I feel inspired, I feel energized. I'm looking forward to getting back into my show. And to be honest, I was going through a bit of a downtime with Magic, being locked in, not having anyone to perform to, not having any shows to go out and do, parties and different things. Seeing this has given me a new little lease in life, a new task to jump up to. I'm gonna get my show organized and sorted. Yeah, it, really, really inspirational. If you're looking for something to help you get onto the next step of your parlor show, your salon show, and you want the cold hard facts of what it was going to take along that journey, then Evergreen is the one for you. You would have noticed I'm not wearing my usual shirt and waistcoat, my performer's attire today, because I've got this bright blue hoodie on, with this uh, Magician's Advice logo on the chest. Hey, check that out, merchandise, don't we love it, we love it. A few people have asked us for t-shirts, hoodies and mugs, so we've got them. We've got our own little merchandise store set up that we're linked in the descriptions below. So if you're interested in supporting Magician's Advice by grabbing a mug, we've got our podcast logo on the mug there, or if you're interested in getting a hoodie or t-shirt with different logos, we've got some with our logos on, we've got some with slogans on and catchphrases on that we've put together. So yeah, check them out. The link's in the description below. If you want to support us on Patreon, then please do. We've got a new lined up Patreon campaign coming out in August 1st. It's having a bit of a rejig over there, but our Patreons know this already. Um, so check that out, it's that for you as well. All these little things help us keep doing what we do and help us keep bringing podcasts and videos and our Facebook community and the live streams and everything all to you. So yeah, thanks ever so much. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Thank you for those people, um, for all the lovely comments. Just thanks for your time tuning in. See you again next time. Bye-bye.